Sosa is here today <laughs> to help us with um, doing the kiwi grip on the deck. But the deck is too dewy right now to do it, so we've gone on an adventure. We're going on a little hike to a little lake called Riley Lake. to disobey the sign and we got just around the corner over there and a blast went off. So they're definitely building a road through the trail or close to the trail and yeah so we're not we don't get to find that lake today. No Riley Lake for us. So instead we decided to find Lost Lake and accidentally took the long way around. Don't worry, he's eating a chanterelle and they're very edible. Filming, 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 filming. And then, finally, we reached a lake. We found a lost lake. We've been walking for what feels like more than an hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it gets pretty wet pretty fast here. Oh, back to swimming. We got back to work prepping the deck. First it was taped, then sanded, then blown off, and then acetone before the paint went on. just finishing up the prep work for the paint on the deck but um, as we were finishing it started to rain a little bit so looks like it stopped again but I don't know if we're brave enough to actually like try to get this paint job done today because it is what time is it it's 3 38 and it needs like 12 hours without dew like to cure and the dew starts to set in around like 9, 10-ish. So it's not quite enough time. But all the prep work's done, so I don't know. We'll try to do it tomorrow morning. We're supposed to have the welders here tomorrow to like get other stuff hey, done. Yeah. The sun's starting to poke through now. So you want to try? Well, I don't know. I think we should like just monitor it. 20 to 4. So. I'd like to try it. Okay, so we're gonna get it blown off and then acetone. Yeah, I'm gonna go see if I can use that leaf blower they were just. So we're just about to start with the actual paint part of this. Um, we have four cans. So what we're doing is we're taking the four cans that we have, we're putting them in one big uh, pail together, and we're mixing them up to make sure that we get actually get a uniform color instead of them accidentally like being slightly different. So, yeah. To do this, this is what we're using: kiwi grip gray. So we're using about 16 liters. Hopefully that's enough to cover the whole thing. We'll find out. In hindsight, we probably would have been fine without this step, but better safe than sorry. And then the actual painting finally started. Sid troweled on the paint, then Logan textured it, and I took up the tape as we went in order to avoid lifting extra paint off later. This 
process was working really great for us, but then the rain came. Just like that, it's raining. We tried to act quick, which meant that we used sheets as tarps in order to cover our freshly painted areas. It helped to keep the water off, but didn't cover very much area. The sun's pretty much out. Yet yeah, here we are, the tarp fell in the paint. We got that one. And it looks pretty good, like there's a couple of spots where you can see raindrops where they hit, but I'm not gonna be too fussy about that. It looks pretty good. Still. Look at that sun coming through now. Yeah. It's like it's taunting us. I know, right? Rude. Despite the high humidity and threat of more rain, this is the only day Sid was available to help us paint, so we made the hard decision to keep going. This meant that we were painting into the dark and had to re-acetone the deck as we went in order to get rid of the rainwater. It's raining. Yeah, we were smirch. Smirch. That's the end, so we're damn close. So painting got finished at about, what was it, eight o'clock last night? Um, and it was pretty, it was getting cold and it was very humid. So it looks amazing. I don't know if we can see it on video. It looks so good, except for the bugs that are now all through it. We put a fan on it to keep the dew off. But yeah, it's not it's not dry yet. <laughs> so it's been 12 hours since we finished and it's still not dry. Because I guess the humidity and the temperature. Um, yeah, so poor Max had to sleep in the car last night. Oh. And because we couldn't get him into the boat. We had to cover everything with tarps because it started raining while we were putting it on. And then it rained again later, so that was a good thing we did. The day's supposed to get nicer. You can almost see blue sky. So once that happens, we will turn the fans off and hopefully the weather gets better and it dries. It looks really good, like it looks better even than I thought it was going to look, so that's awesome. It just has to dry! So fingers crossed for us that it dries quick. But, yeah, and big shout out to Sid for helping us out so much, because it would not have looked as good if it had just been Logan and I, that's for sure. Okay, so a day and a half ago now, we painted on the Kiwi Grip. It looks absolutely fantastic, but the issue is that when we painted it, the humidity was super high. It actually started raining while we were painting, and it got rained on. And now, 36 hours later, it still isn't completely dry. Most of it, well, yeah. I think all of it. There's Logan touching to make sure. Almost all of it is completely tacked up. Um, but there's one spot that maybe is actually still a little bit wet because the dew dripped on it, like, well, and it rained and dripped on it. We put, like, poly up, you can see, to cover it so it wouldn't get rained on, but there was a crack in the poly and rain got in there and dripped on the paint, made the paint run a little bit, so yesterday it was, like, actually wet, like, I stuck my finger in it and got paint on my finger. But the rest of it, it's like hard for the most part, but it's still like you can still stick your finger into it. You can still move it, but it looks great. So we've got a heater up there now. Right there. It's on a forklift. So we're hoping that that does the job and dries it out enough so that it actually hardens up and we can walk on our deck because right now we can't walk on the deck. Here's Logan trying to drain that water out of there, I think. Yeah, 
So painting in the Pacific Northwest in September. So we watched, like usually the forecasts are decently accurate for weather, but the issue has been that we've got all this fire smoke coming up from Washington and Oregon, and apparently it's making it really hard to determine what weather's coming our way. So we thought we were gonna have a dry day. We started painting, couldn't see the clouds coming, couldn't tell what the weather was doing because there was so much smoke. So we got rained on. So then we put all the tarps up in the middle of the paint job. The stuff that had gotten wet though, ended up, I'm oh, just watching Logan here. The stuff that had gotten wet took a lot longer to tack up than the stuff that hadn't gotten wet, so Kiwi Griff is like a water-based paint, so it makes sense, but doesn't make it any more fun to deal with. Ooh, hot. It is hot up there. So we tarped in the whole boat because it was supposed to start raining soon and we thought we were running out of time. And then as soon as we finished tarping it in, the sun came. But it's supposed to rain all weekend, so I think it'll be useful. But anyway, so the heat from the sun, as well as from this lovely diesel heater, it should be enough now to actually harden that paint that we thought was going to harden yesterday. And Logan is up there trying to fix a little bit of an issue that happened because we had water drip on the paint on the first night and it made the paint run, so... Logan's gonna fix that and then hopefully with all this heat that'll harden quickly and hopefully we can walk on it when we get back tomorrow. Logan, fixing the water drips. So, this is what the deck looks like now. completely as hard as it will be, but it can set up to six days, so, but it's okay to walk on. And it's, yeah, it just looks great. I'm excited. So it's been a month since we put the Kiwi grip on. I just wanted to update you guys so you kind of could see how it's wearing. After all of that nonsense with the rain, um, it's actually stuck pretty well. We have like a few small spots where there's been like a little bit of chipping, but I'm pretty sure that just is because we didn't put on, we didn't clean it well enough or we didn't sand it well enough when we were prepping. Like didn't clean it well enough once it rained. So. As you can see, it looks really good. The texture's great. It's not quite as aggressive as we were hoping, but that is mostly because of the fact that it took so long to dry. Because that 100% humidity nonsense that we dealt with. You can kind of see like little tiny marks where the rain hit, but for the most part, it looks great. It feels great to walk on dog likes it even. It's grippy. We have like no complaints. But you can see like here, that right there is chipping. And it's chipping I think because we still had water right there. Same with here. This is all on the side that got rained on. And like spots like that. But luckily that should be easy enough to fix when we um, actually have some nice weather again next year. Thanks so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. And if you have your own Kiwi Grip tips, tricks, or experiences, share them in the comments below. A special thanks to our patrons for supporting the making of these videos.